Rodney Reed has spent the last 21 years on death row for the 1996 murder of Stacey Stites. His execution is scheduled for November 20th, but many are calling on the governor to grant Reed a reprieve so new evidence can be investigated. Here are the details. Free Rodney Reed! Free Rodney Reed! Protesters gathering outside the governor's mansion in Austin, Texas on Saturday, fighting to stop the execution of Rodney Reed, scheduled for November 20th. I know that I'm innocent. I am innocent, absolutely innocent. Reed was convicted in the 1996 murder of 19-year-old Stacy Stites. Her body found on the side of the road near Bastrop, Texas. She had her plans and she had her marriage coming up and she had a life with Jim. And now somebody's taken that away. ABC's Deborah Roberts sat down with the now 51-year-old convicted murderer. If a new jury were to hear your case, what do you think would exonerate you? I know that if they was to hear this case, that this case it would, will itself exonerate me. This is prosecutors stand by the 1998 conviction. The right man has been convicted beyond a reasonable doubt of Stacey Stice's murder. But Reed's legal team, the Innocence Project, says new developments in the case exonerate him. And many have been calling for this case to be revisited, including celebrities like Oprah and Kim Kardashian West. While activist Sean King has collected more than 2 million signatures online. We believe Rodney Reed is innocent. What we know about this country is that thousands and thousands of men just like Rodney have been wrongly arrested, wrongly charged, wrongly convicted, wrongly imprisoned, wrongly sent to death. And now in a letter, a bipartisan group of 26 Texas lawmakers also urging the governor to grant Reed a reprieve until new developments in the case are resolved. Jaffany Gray, KSAT 12 News.